There could be a disruption to school bus service in Campbell County on the first day of school. That's if bus drivers don't get their way. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller spoke with a group that says the district isn't paying them enough. And she joins us live right now from the district headquarters where a meeting is set to start very soon. Whitney. Yeah, the, the school superintendent told me that the bus driver's salaries, they're not even on the agenda tonight, but that will not stop these drivers who say their pay is not fair. We first on the pay scale three years ago. Now we are dead to last. Bob Valeris is a bus driver for Campbell County Schools. He's one of the 90 plus drivers and monitors who signed a petition in May asking the school board to raise their wages. They want to be comparable to neighboring districts. Basically, we want to be paid the same as Kent County, which is kind of in the middle of the road. No more, no less. In June, the board responded to that petition by increasing a number of hourly classified wages. In addition to an existing 1.5% raise, bus drivers got a 2% increase. Bus monitors received 11.8%. The district says those numbers were based on comparing surrounding districts and are set numbers for the 22-23 school year. The bus driver group says it's not enough. We're still dead last, even with that. At Monday night's board meeting, Valeris and his fellow drivers plan to tell the district they will disrupt first day of school routes if their salaries don't increase. I'm saying a significantly number of us monitors and drivers will not show up. We'll call it sick is what we're going to do. We're going to have a sick day. In a statement, District Superintendent Dr. Shelley Wilson told WCPO 9 News, our board has stated that they want to remain competitive and they know that we will need to revisit the classified hourly pay scales this year. In regards to the walkout, Dr. Wilson went on to say, we are currently revisiting routes, actively working with the transportation department to find areas where we can increase efficiency. We're also looking for drivers and we are listening. We do not want our families, students and staff impacted negatively. Now that board meeting will happen in here at about six o'clock and I should know that these drivers and monitors are basing their demands on the starting salary for transportation workers here. Uh, the school superintendent though does tell me that pay is based on experience. We're now live in Campbell County, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.